crackers. Love them. It's a tiny thing, isn't it? Oh, here's another one, too. Green one. Can I make this work as well? Not quite so well, but hang on a sec. There's something in between. A yellow string. Oh, yes, of course, a skipping rope. Skipping rope with crackers. There's something. There's something now. Something which I thought I ought to start investigating. How many toys have I got which have got two purposes? Two different forms of play. This one you'd have to be able to go clack, 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 and then separately skip, or do both together. That'd be interesting. Because when you're skipping, you're doing an action like this, and when you're clacking, you're going up and down. So you'd have a bit of, of jerking, I suppose. I'm not sure whether it's possible, but I'll try to find someone very athletic who can do that. Make it clack and skip at the same time. And I like the idea of things being overt, too. There are quite a number of things I've got in my collection which are not toys, like this one here, for instance, which has dual purpose, again. It's a walking stick, but it also is an umbrella in, hidden inside. But I'm looking for toys rather than utilitarian objects, and where the two functions are very, very obvious. Uh, they're, they're overt, as I call it. Here's an example, another example of one. This is made from many years ago by, I think, Pippa Greenwood. It's um, a yo-yo with a little ball of a handle. So I'll undo a bit of string so I can make it perform. There we are. Quite heavy. I asked her to make one with large wings to it. That's what they call these things. And also holes in the wing and recesses. The idea being that when you finish yo-yoing and mastering it, you wind up a bit of the string. And then if you're good enough at it, you've got to do a bit of this. Oh, oh, etc., etc. And if you're really lucky, you get it there. Cup and ball, of course. Yo-yo one end, cup and ball the other end, either, either side too. Two different toys in one. Nice idea. How many others are there like it? Well, this is one that's not at all obvious. Um, when I first picked it up, I thought, well, that's one of these things here. It's one of these old twirlers. But hang on a sec, there's a perfectly good ball inside. So if I take the string off and just um, remove that, here's a perfectly good beach ball. So that's actually two toys in one. Two very different toys, too. Nice concept. I don't think it was intended to be that, but that's what I made it into. Here's another very, very pretty one. The opposite, really. Very high technology, this. But these are a pair of dice for rolling. But look at them. Beautifully made. Push that inside, pull it up, and then... Oops, a tiny little duck in a box. Isn't that superb? In a little box. So there's a black one. And this one here, when I bend it forward, pull it out, there's a white one. So a toy, which is a pair of dice, and inside are two little duck in a boxes. Perhaps it ought to be Jack and Jill. Beautifully made. Double purpose. <laughs> there are ones you can make yourself, actually, with your double purpose. This one is a ruler, but it's also one of those bull rollers. Just by making a hole on one end and adding a string, you make this primitive instrument, which was, I think, invented by the Aborigines or something a very long time ago, wind one up and then start twirling it round in the air and see what happens. It makes a lovely whirling sound. And then twirls the other way. Wonderful. So that's definitely double purpose. A ruler and a bull roarer. Wonderful. Very early days of toy, of toy collecting, probably 1970s, I think it was, I came across this delightful thing, which is quite a large scale made up jigsaw. Well, you have to muddle it up and then you have the fun of assembling it. But then, of course, you've got the extra fun of solving the crossword. For this, you had to pick up turn over the label, and there is all the clues. You've got all the clues for across and down, and you've got to fill them in before you've actually completed the puzzle. First thing to do is assemble the jigsaw. Secondly, solve the crossword. Nice double purpose toy, I love that. The last item is a very, very wacky one which I've had in my collection for about 30 years. It's a wind-up toy, but it's a, a, pin, a pinball machine as well, a pinball wizard. So I'll wind it up, see what happens. Something very bizarre. It walks on these larger, rather large feet. Place it here. And what's happening here? We've got a little kicker here, which is coming up every now and then, thrusting the balls up into the cup. This is very strange. So the idea is to wind it up, let it sit on its way. At the end of the run, when the springs run down, watch our score. Pinball wizard, they call it. Do you think so? Mm, I think not. What do you think? 